we're going to continue to work on this sheet and we'll finish up this drawing. We haven't focused at all on the formatting of the sheet and we can change the information on the title block here and how the sheet's laid out individually. So let's right click the sheet and we're going to click edit sheet format. You can see the title block is now blue and we can zoom right in on that section and you can pan over so you can see it a little bit nicer. If you zoom in on the tolerance specifications, we can double click and that should all be highlighted. We're gonna delete the fractional, so you can just drag your mouse over and delete. For the angular Mach plus, we're going to enter point one and it'll look nicer with 0 0.1. In the text format panel, all the way over here, move that out of the way. We wanna add a symbol. So right here is add the symbol under text format. And we're gonna add the degree. All we really need here are the two decimal places and three decimal places. So for the bend, I'm gonna get rid of that. And for the two decimal place, I'm gonna put 0 0.01. And for the three decimal, I'll put 0 0.003. To accept the changes, press escape. And now that dimensions and tolerances are updated. Let's move to the annotation toolbar. And let's click the note button. Select no leader option. It's this first icon. And we're gonna drop this right into the material box. And here we can type in 1060 alloy. Here you can also change the font size and style. Uh, I'm gonna make this a lot smaller so it matches my drawing. You can click and drag your note. If you hold Alt, it'll allow you to freely move it instead of snapping into those positions. I'm gonna slide over. Just hover over, you can see it says PRP SW file name. And let's say I decide to save this and I hit file, save as, and I'll change this to MET3002 and I'll add a description here. We'll call this U bracket design. And then I'll hit save. You can see my uh, art changed up here. And we'll rebuild. If yours don't update after changing your model, you should be able to update by clicking link to property. And it's looking for the current document. I'm gonna select a model found here and I'm looking for MET3002 and the property name. This is going to be the file name. So here we can see that it's adding. So if you need to adjust your values, you can definitely do that. And I'm going to just make sure I get that lined up pretty nicely. All right, and now that should be ready to go. If you need to adjust the style and size, when you click on your font here, you can select font on the left side. And let's change the size to points, and let's use 16. That fits a little bit nicer. All the way up at the top, we're going to find File Properties. 
and we'll hover over to the custom tab and let's look at our format size here and all the properties type a containing description and we'll make sure that it's a text so we'll call this description and this will be text we'll also type in one called company name will also be text and I'll just call this PVCC and let's hit OK. Now we can add these to our title block and we can see that PVCC added right at the top here. This is already company name. Under the drawn by just by creating a new property you can see that the name pops up right there you need to find one that's already existing we'll just hover over and we can go back to our properties We'll say drawn date, and we'll say today. And we can see that pops right in there. And we just right click and edit sheet to go back into our uh, drawing views. Know that this is linked to your drawing and your model. So whatever you change in your model, is going to adapt here once we hit build. So you can show your annotations, change something in the drawing, and then save it. And then you'll go back to your sheet and then click rebuild and your drawing and part will change automatically. Don't forget to save.